This one's gonna be on some functions I created uh, for VirtualBox because uh, I don't know about you guys, but I always hated opening this VirtualBox thing and you know pick out the damn one that you want and then click on start. Um, I just prefer having it in my terminal, so that's what we're gonna do here. There's a couple of functions here that I'm gonna show you uh, that actually complete your writing. So let's do VPX list, and this one will list out all your available VMs and if there's anything that's running. Right now, nothing is running, so that's why you see nothing. But these are all the VMs that uh, I have. And if I want to spin it up, I do a VBX start. And this one will give you like a menu kind of thing. So you just pick out the numbers uh, next to, you know, the, the VM that you want to spin up. So let's say we do uh, Windows XP here. So I hit one and hit enter and it'll start it. You can start multiple, so it'll actually loop it until you want to quit. So to quit out of this, just hit control C and that's it, right? So now if we do uh, listing again, you can see that now this one is running. And if I want to remote into that, um, I use our desktop. I don't know, I just prefer that because it has command line options. So I use, uh, what's that, Windows XP here. I already have it pre-configured. So if I do that, look at that, I can just log in. And I have my VM set up, um, so on and so forth. Anyways, that's how I do it. Now the VM is still running if I do, what was that? Right, this one, it will tell me my VM is still running. Now if I want to quit it, I do VBX quit. Now this quit thing doesn't always work. I think it's like, I don't know why, but uh, usually Windows stuff. It doesn't um, work, but look, if I do one, it's supposed to quit, but it doesn't actually quit. Let me see here, I'll list it again. You see that it's still running? So that's why we have this other one called uh, VBX Force Quit. And this one definitely will, um, you know, close down the VM. Um, and this is kind of like pulling the plug, so that's why I give you a little message there in red. But you see that if I list it out again here, um, there will be no VM running. So no VMs are running right now. Anyway, so that's all we do, okay? So basically we're just gonna learn how to start the damn thing. So we're gonna start a couple of them. We can start, uh, let's say one, and what was the other one? One, and then we'll wait for it to loop back to uh, the menu again. And we'll do uh, six for Fedora. All right, so that's it, right? And now we can go in here, we do our Windows uh, XP. And this one is gonna ping the IP. And um, as soon as it, you know, the machine is up, it's gonna automatically log into it. So we're gonna do it for both. Look at that. So it basically pings the port, uh, the IP and the port, because these ones are on different IPs and different ports. So as soon as the VM is up, I don't have to wait for the VM, um, you know, to, well, I don't have to wait and then, you know, like on the other virtual machines and know when the, the system's actually up. It'll just ping it automatically and it'll pop up a new uh, menu or I mean a new screen here once it's up and I can just log in. So that's why I prefer doing it this way. So as long as, as uh, uh, you know, the virtual machine's up, um, it's straight to the window and I just log in like this for um, Fedora here. So there you go, this is Fedora, and I can use that. This other one, uh, I can use this. And I prefer doing this way, because sometimes I, I spin up a VM and I forget about it. But with this thing, I, I'm not gonna forget about it, because it's gonna pop up my face and, uh, you know, uh, I'll have to use it. So this is how, um, how I use my VM and stuff like that. Anyways, that's pretty much it and if I want to cancel all this here let's cancel this one out too and let's go back to this and want to kill all of it so we do VBX uh, let's do force quit for both of them all right so we do one for the Windows XP shit and then uh, one for the Fedora here and that's it hit control C and now we have nothing running I believe Right, none of them is running right now. So there you go. So how do you set this up? Pretty easy. Um, I have it in my alias here. 
Um, I'm just gonna show you the ones that I actually completed. All these other ones, um, I don't know. I, I, didn't, I don't remember what the hell I wrote here. I wrote this a while back, so I don't remember. So this one is for the list. It'll show you the list. And the, actually, the if you wanna use or you wanna learn more about the command line for a virtual machine, you use, uh, what was that, VBox uh, Manage. And that's the command for it. And they have different options. Like this one will list out the running VMs. I mean, the available VMs and the running VMs here. What was the other one I talked about? Um, this one's to start here. So basically, we created a menu. Um, and we do like a while loop. No, is it a while loop? Yeah, a while loop. And basically, it'll give you all the options. Uh, and once you select the options, it will start the VM, all right, in a headless mode. Um, pretty much it, really. There's quit. It's the same thing, it's just that it has different commands. So this one is to, uh, you know, tell it to power off, which doesn't always work. So that's why you need a uh, force quit. And this one is actually to really power off. Anything else in there? Uh, that's pretty much it for that. I'll post you in the description for those things, but here's the R desktop stuff here So I did the ones for uh, Windows XP and uh, You know I put it in this format because This is the way I like it Basically you have your IP address and the port that you use uh, Your default username that you want to log in You don't have to put your password just your username and you'll log in with your password later on the resolution that you want uh, the reason why I like using our desktop is that you can use a uh, you know a, a different resolution than what the VM gives you. I mean they do have like the guest editions on the virtual box, but that thing doesn't always work uh, the way that I want it. So that's why I like using our desktop because you can actually set the resolution uh, to whatever you know screen that you want to use. And this one, this is one is really cool because um, this is the thing that actually pings. The IP and not just the IP because you know this one's on different ports so you can actually ping the IP and the port so that's why I like using um, this command here All right IP and port that will ping it and it's gonna ping it every um, two seconds so even if the VM you know takes a while to spin up whatever um, you're not gonna waste your time like you know waiting for it this thing will actually just do it automatically for you and It'll pop up a new screen once it's done, you know, loading up already. Not you having to waste your time staring at the damn screen um, and, and, and make sure that it's up already, right? So that's what I like about this one. Um, anything else in here? Pretty much it. You know, you do that one for, for each one of your VMs that you want to do. Now, the thing with doing it this way, you still have to go into each VM and setting up those, um, you know, remote desktop. Like in Windows, you have to go into like your network, whatever, and you have to set up your, um, your, what was that remote desktop access? You have to enable that. So it's a little more work, but I prefer doing it this way than the other way that you will use with VirtualBox. Anyways, that's what I do. And if you want to use it also, I'll post you in the description. Pretty easy to use. In the future, if I figure it out, uh, I actually want to have like, um, you know, all these other features where you can enable USB because uh, you can do that with the VirtualBox GUI. You just like right click on the USB icon or whatever. But I want it in the command line, so I haven't I haven't I haven't known how to do that yet. So maybe I'll do another video once I figure that out. Anyways, if you want to do this also. It's pretty easy. Um, just install VirtualBox and you know have these functions in your your Bash RC or ZSHRC or something like that, and you're good to go. Anywho, that's it for this one.